Hello and welcome to Fire of Learning. Niccolo Machiavelli's book, The Prince, was published in 1532, five years after his death. And in this video, we're going to take a look at 10 very noteworthy tips from that book. The book was written as a sort of advice guide for politicians, specifically kings of the time. Obviously, this means taken literally, it isn't widely applicable as most of us aren't kings, maybe you are, I don't, I don't know, but the advice is not applicable only for monarchs or even general politicians. It can be translated and utilized for a number of professions and situations, from business to social life to whatever. So with that in mind, let's get started. Number 10. Distrust mercenaries and auxiliaries. Machiavelli believed that having soldiers who weren't loyal or dependent on you was a disastrous error. These types of soldiers were only interested in their own gain or had loyalties to someone else. Accordingly, Machiavelli personally watched as the Italian states who used these types of soldiers consistently failed and strongly suggests raising troops of your own with a mutual goal. For example, the success of your kingdom. Number 9. You can't imitate great people exactly, but you should try as much as possible. Essentially, Machiavelli believed in learning from those who were successful in history. In fact, much of his advice is justified with examples all the way back to ancient civilizations. Within a given position, according to Machiavelli, you should attempt to imitate the habits of those who were successful. However, of course, at times you will unavoidably have to think and act on your own. In these circumstances, Machiavelli advises it is best to not be reckless. Number 8. Don't increase the power of rivals. This seems obvious, but it's a mistake far too often made. Machiavelli used the then-recent failed invasion of Italy by the King of France as a consistent example throughout the book. Instead of assisting smaller states against the larger Italian nations, he allied himself with the Pope and picked on smaller nations. The Pope took control of this and seized more power for himself, establishing his state as a dominant in the region. Further, the King of France made it even worse by allowing another rival into the region when Spain conquered Naples and Sicily. Number 7. When conquering new people, don't change too much. While it's certainly true that, according to Machiavelli, one should take measures to ensure the loyalty of newly obtained subjects, he claims that the best way to do this is to keep their laws, taxes, and such things mostly unchanged and less necessary. He even recommends allowing them to form a local government for their interests so long as the government is not hostile but dependent on you. Number 6. Without power, opportunity is wasted. Without opportunity, power is wasted. Machiavelli believed leadership was a combination of power and opportunity, and that a wise leader could find ways to both. Furthermore, he warns against obtaining either with fortune, reminding us that he who depends on fortune alone is ruined when fortune changes. Depends upon yourself. Number 5. We live so far removed from how we ought to live that he who abandons what is done for what ought to be done will destroy himself rather than prevail. Machiavelli believed that morality, goodness, and kindness were all nice ideas, but realistically one must do what they have to do to survive, succeed, and grow. He cautions against trying to reform the system and encourages rather rising and succeeding in it, as change can often be dangerous, especially if it is forced. If you must change something though, do it with strength, as armed prophets conquer, but unarmed ones fail. Number 4. Support from nobles and support from the people are two different areas, and either group could ruin you. The nobility looks to achieve their own interests, namely by suppressing the people. The people, in turn, are interested, namely, in not being suppressed. The nobility may threaten you to achieve their own interests, and the people will often revolt if they are too heavily repressed by you. In which case, the people are usually a better ally to have, for if you are hated by the people, the nobility will easily remove you, but if you are loved by the people, the nobility will have a greater difficulty dethroning you. Number three, one must master the art of acting in the most efficient way, but looking as good of a person as possible. Machiavelli says that a prince should attempt to look like someone who is merciful, faithful, respectable, humane, religious, and generous, but behind the curtain may have to act in the exact opposite way to achieve results. As at times, adherence to these values may not only be disastrous, but it may come off as weakness, and Machiavelli warns greatly against the ruler who looks timid, frivolous, effeminate, changeable, or irresolute. The art of politics, therefore, in his opinion, is mastering both worlds. Number 2. It is better to be feared than to be loved, but if possible, go for both. Machiavelli recognizes the importance of being favored by his subjects, but knows that too much leniency may invite trouble. Leniency based out of love for the people may suggest weakness, it may provide opportunities for rivals, it may decrease your power, and therefore an element of fear is necessary in your ruling. In treating, others fails. Using strength and force nearly always succeeds, and accordingly, if you have to choose between being loved and feared, it is better to go with being feared. Playing dirty, in fact playing very dirty, is justifiable in his opinion as long as the end result is something favorable and good. However, he adds on to this that if you're going to commit an atrocity, it's better to do it all in one day than to prolong it. 
i.e. it would be better to execute 100 people in one day than to kill one person each day over 100 days. While each perhaps warrants the same results, technically the former secures your position with fear and reassures rivals that you will act when crossed. The latter gives the impression that you rule over people tyrannically and that for their own security, the people must oppose of you. So these have been Machiavelli's top 10 tips from his very famous book, The Prince. It's certainly not his only advice, though I would highly recommend reading the book. And for more videos like this and videos on many other subjects, I would invite you to check out Fire Learning and subscribe. Thank you for watching.